Hi, good morning. This is Suresh. See, in the previous class, so we covered about the creation of like MVC, uh, Spring MVC we covered. So in that, we covered some basic introduction part. So what are the concepts, like how the Spring MVC internally is going to work, we covered. So this is the module we are discussing. So yesterday onwards, right? So this is the module name called Spring MVC. So in that MVC, what is the full form of MVC? Like model, view, and controller. So what is the model and what is the view and what is the controller? So we had some discussion in our yesterday class. So today we are going to see more information on the, the Spring MVC. So what I'm doing here, see, so, so we have uh, one person. So here one person is trying to like visit uh, some restaurant. So to order something called uh, like anything, for example, what we can call it as some roti, is trying to order some roti. He went to the restaurant. So when he visit the restaurant, so what's going to happen? What is going to happen? So one, one person is coming to the, our table. So his name is called waiter. So the waiter is coming to the our table, right? So what's going to ask? So what kind of order you want to eat? So what type of order you are trying to give? So like he's going to ask. So once we give the order, once given an order, so the waiter, what's going to do? He's going to interact, interact with the kitchen person. He's going to interact with the kitchen persons. So what kitchen people they are going to do based upon our order, based upon our, our, our order. So they are trying to prepare some items. So what are the, uh, what type of order we given the kitchen people they are trying to prepare the order. So once the order is prepared, so the waiter, the order is coming back to the waiter and from the waiter, so the order dispatched to the, the, <clears throat> person who is trying to give an order right so so what is going to happen here see the request come to the waiter from the waiter so again the request go gone to the the kitchen person from the kitchen person we received a response so from the response the response received to the waiter from the waiter the response received to the person who are the so taking then like giving an order. So in this case, so what's going to happen? So this is an UI. So the person, nothing but UI. UI is nothing but like uh, the home page we can call it as home page of any application. So from the home page, so what we are trying to, so we we given some submit, like we provided some information and we provided some submit button. So from the submit button is going to, discuss with our dispatcher satellite. So dispatcher satellite internally is having a controller. So here I'm trying to use the waiter name call here in our spring terminology control. So in our spring terminology, waiter is nothing but controller. So what is going to do controller? Is going to interact with our business logic. Business logic in the sense, so the kitchen persons. So what we are doing? So we are trying to interact with the database to get the username and password information. So whether the username and password entered by user on the home page or the user page, so those are the valid or not. So the control interacting with business logic from the business layer is going to interact with database. So is those are the nothing but kitchen purpose, kitchen, inside the kitchen. So what those people are doing to prepare the rotis. So same thing. So in our like spring terminology, the controller from the controller, the request is going to interact with business layer as well as 
from uh, like db db related informations are available so then is going to interact with databases so from the database whatever the information is we are returning so those nothing but as a response right so those response is come come to the controller from the controller so we are trying to show on the response on the ui page ui page is nothing but so the uh, person who is trying to eat and eh? the rotis right so now we got an idea so how the spring mvc is going to work so this is the simple example we covered now we will move on to the our real time unlike our spring terminology example so how this is going to work uh, so here what i'm doing here so simply i'm creating so this is an a home page or web we can call it as so from the web if we uh, if any request is re uh, received so what's going to happen so here we have dispatcher dispatcher sublet so from the dispatcher sublet so from the dispatcher sublet where is going to call is going to call our controller class controller so from the controller so is going to interact with our uh, so business layer so business layer in the uh, <clears throat> nothing but so whether it is cloud or whether it is the uh, deep database whatever it is so we can call it as service right so this is the flow is going to happen so from here the request is going from the here, web is nothing but any application any application so first time is nothing but is it is an a request so where the request is going to handle at first time it is the front control of our spring mvc application so the dispatcher solid is going to handle the the uh, request from the request the dispatcher solid is going to call the the particular controller class so what's going to do here the request is going to stop here so from the controller we have the logic so to call our service methods from the service if you have any dos so is going to call so database is going to call databases right so from the database whatever the information we want to get so those information is going to get is nothing but so response so from the response is coming back to the controller so in our controller we have we have model and view so based upon our model and view so the data is going to return back to the dispatcher sublet from the dispatcher sublet is going to return to the web web is nothing but the application home page whatever the information we are trying to show so those information is going to <clears throat> available on the web page right so this is the web page we can call it as so this is the basic flow of the uh, <clears throat> spring mvc right now we will see so how the spring mvc is going to work we observe and from our controller we as i said we have model and view objects we we are available like in the controller the model and view object is available so what's going to do is going to return the data so whatever the data we want to show on the uh, <clears throat> on the uh, like ui page so those information is going to return right so now what i'm doing so simply i am writing one example here so see i am writing totally the different project explorer it is a dynamic web project, web project project name call spring mvc src uh, edit src main java uh, okay otherwise 
remove add folder something main java and the src main resource right so the src main test so the last one call src main resource test resource is available so we don't need so these three is fine <clears throat> okay generate web.xml we need right so close all because so today onwards we are trying to see the different informations right so now if we observe in our web.xml uh, <clears throat> so now is nothing so nothing is available so yesterday what i said so those information we need to define here so using sarlet and use Control space. If you uh, use, you are you are to <clears throat> you are going to see the name of the solid. Here I am giving student, and once uh, if you specify the solid name, and if you <clears throat> again give the control space, so here you are able to see solid class. So what is the class? Org dot spring. Org dot spring framework dot web dot solid dot dispatcher solid so it's correct uh, org spring frame web dot solid dot dispatcher solid dispatcher so solid so this is the solid so once we specify the solid so what we need to do we need to specify solid map mapping right so we can specify a load on also if we required uh, okay we need to use the load on here uh, where you are going to see load on startup here so one you can specify so what's going to do based upon our first request the dispatcher solid is going to load by the the spring container and from the day once the dispatcher solid is load so what's going to do so based upon the request is going to call the appropriate or controller class so now what i'm doing here so again i am defining solid mapping so solid mapping so inside the solid mapping so we need to specify the solid name so we need to specify the name of the solid in our both cases should be match so what is the name of the solid here it is an a student so again we need to use the url pattern so dot is <clears throat> we can give the slash we can give this slash so this is the basic the web dot xml we need to configure like and if we have any context configuration file we can use here context param and as i said we need to use the param name so what is the param name context context config location right and we need to use the param values so what are the param values we are going to use so for the example just i'm simply i'm providing web by nf slash so yesterday so simply we can give student dot service dot xml right so this is the way we can provide the context param information and we have other information so we will specify the all the informations so when we are discussing right so this is our web.xml is completed so now what we need to do we need to create our the controller class so how the controller class we can create so class we need to create here 
so once we specify the class so simply i am creating and this is a basic example right home page controller i am creating home page so this is the home page controller so we, you can define package java technology so this is the package so java technology dot controller so com dot java technology dot controller so the home page controller is available inside the what package so this is the name of the package so simply you can finish right so this is the package controller inside the controller we are able to see the home page controller right so now so for the so we want to use uh, so i'm converting into the web based application like it's a maven related information uh, maven application so configure convert into maven project so spring mvc so all are the same so this is the pom.xml so we will discuss this pom.xml later right so now we need to specify some de uh, dependencies information here uh, dependencies we need to load the spring related web spring 3.0 we are discussing so spring 3.0 uh, web jar so we have one website name called maven repository so from the maven repository so we are able to download the so information so this is our maven repository so here you can identify the like maven related information so this is the so spring web so copy the web and paste it inside the dependencies so just simply save so what's going to happen here so it's trying to download the some spring related web i think you are we are able to see in the progress tab so this is the way we can download and if we observe over uh, like dependencies so the spring web is available right so this is the way we need to download the jar and here we can use the, the class related information called abstract controller we need to use one class called abstract controller uh, so where the abstract controller is available inside the web package so see abstract uh, controller the class is available or not so when let me write uh, so this is not available so we need to use spring mvc uh, go to spring framework in our maven repository so we need to use uh, select security core web we web mvc we have so use the web mvc so go to 3.0 relation because we are using so spring 3.0 uh, what is the jar of our web uh, 3.3.5 uh, we need to use same so this is the web mvc again copy into our so so he's, he's trying to download this time web web mvc jar so previously we download the web so now we are trying to download the web mvc so again if you see the dependencies so you are able to see spring web mvc right now abstract controller so you are able to see the class name called abstract controller so we need to use 
so this is the abstract control abstract, <coughs> abstract controller and so what's he going to do he is going to ask some unimplemented method so what is an implement method okay so we need to download our java x solid related jars also because we need to use the http solid request for this we have we need a jar for http solid request java x dot solid jar we need required so you can copy java x java x solid we can copy <clears throat> so here you are able to see java x solid api you can use so these also same 3.1 copy and uh, paste it into our configuration file so that is our sorry form.xml copy and save so now we are able to see it's downloading it's downloaded and uh, just see once it's downloaded so the the errors are completed right all are now so it's a time to discuss so it's the model and view we are able to see so what is the purpose the model and view is going to uh, like what is the purpose of model and view so as i said here the con inside the controller we have model and view so model is going to store some information so view is going to provide the the view related pages right so we will see how the model and view because as i said in our controller class we have model and view right so same thing we are using in our controller controller is nothing but home controller we are using and it is extending from the abstract controller so to like inform to the kind of the spring container so this is our home page controller so how we are going to inform like extending the abstract controller right so now so here so simply i'm defining uh, for this we need to create uh, one model package class name called student so i'm changing into model and what i'm doing here student i'm giving because whatever the information we are going to discuss based upon the students only student class and so this is our student class private int what is the student id name of the student name student address right otherwise we can use student address so anything we need to use uh email also right private thing email private string and do contact number so these are the same uh, otherwise we can use our mysql database because already we are having the student related table so we can use same columns property in our example so what is the password uh, root two three four at the rate so it's connected just simply use connect and uh, use this here the database changed so now use description of student one two three so like student id name address email and contact number so these are the columns are available in our student table so we need to use same because uh we are not, every time we are not going to change these properties right so use setters and getters select all and okay so to provide the setters and getters so use all shift and s at a time these three operations we need to perform at a time and you can select setters and getters 
or you can use toasting constructor using fields uh, and you can use constructor from super class so hash code and equals method whatever we required you can use all the information here so to provide the properties right now what i'm doing here simply i'm saving an a model class so again i'm trying to create one service class again i'm trying to create one service class so the package name is different simply i'm defining call service so what is package name student student service <coughs> so okay it is a not class it is in a interface so save so student services change it to interface previously it is in a class because uh, we need to use student service impl also so for the for, <clears throat> for this purpose i change to interface student service IMPL. This is another class. So now implements student service, right? So whatever the method we are going to provide in our student service, so we can use it inside the student service IMPL. Uh, here, what I'm doing here uh, at first time, so simply we can use like insert like add students add student we need to specify the student object so simply save and we need to implement here because we are implementing from the student so here just for this purpose what i am doing here simply and saving an a student information returning the message call saving student student records simply i'm saying because i'm not using any database or cloud to store a student related information so we will see uh, here is our controller class this is our controller class so here uh, we need to use private student service so student service right so whenever this method is called so what i'm doing here so here using student service dot add students right add students so here we need to create an a student object we need to create an a student object student so we need to import because it is in the different package right so object is created now student dot uh, set student id what is an idea simply i'm giving one two three and student dot set name like the name of the student name call java technology so this is the name of the student student dot set address uh, student address Simply, I'm specifying Hyderabad. So, student dot set now email. So, what is the email here? So, the email call Suresh. Mm, no, we have email call Java Technology at the red gmail dot com. Right student dot set contact number so nine zero six nine one two eight double nine three right so this is our contact number 
so we need to use inside the spring 9069128993 so now i'm saving an object i'm calling into the service method so once the, the service method is called so we need to use we need to return model and view right so how we can return model and view so we will see so what i'm doing here so simply i'm creating model and view object right model and view object so here i'm using these three parameter view name right so what is the view name and if i name home so this is the view name and this is the so i will explain how it's going to work Uh, simply you can use student right so so as i said so this is our example right here the re response is reached to the controller response is reached reach to the controller so from the controller what we are doing so we are returning our model and view object so from the model and view object uh, so <clears throat> from the model and view object so what is going to do the, the dispatcher solid so yesterday i explained based upon the view name is going to call view resolvers view resolvers so internal we have one view uh, we have a lot of view resolvers so i will explain all information so for example one view resolvers is called so what is the view resolver here internal resource view resolver so internal resource view resolver is called right so from the internal resource view resolver so is going to return is going to return the view name view name is nothing but so <clears throat> view name is nothing but from <clears throat> we have one object so in which page we need to show so because we have a lot of pages are available in our application like user.jsp or home.jsp or like login.jsp so these are the jsps are available jsp is nothing but so we want to show and do some information on the ui pages like it is the web pages so we are going to use jsp or <clears throat> from in spring related application we are going to use jsp right so is going to return particular jsp page <coughs> So in our example, so so this is the view page. This is the view view page is nothing but home dot jsps and this is the model. So mod these two how it's going to work because key comma value pair based upon the if you are going to give the key the values are we are going to get it. So already we discussed so those these information in in our the Java mapping. Uh, like hash map <clears throat> concurrent hash map so these are the maps we covered so what they are going to do here once we specify the key so we are able to get the value same like the model <clears throat> so the model in view also is going to work if you specify the key on the ui so the values are going to display it right so this is the home home is nothing but view page so what kind of view page you want to display so this information in the which ui page you want to display we are going to specify the view page here right so this is the controller class so now so these student informations we are able to see on the ui page we are able to see on the ui page so this is the simple basic example so we are trying to execute now we need a some our spring configuration file we need to specify the spring where this configuration information is available because we need to specify the controller class and the service class we need to specify in our configuration file so that is going to use our configuration file and is going to return the some data to the yeah. <coughs> ui page and how we are going to configure we will see the configuration is nothing but so it's it's a simple configuration like simply i am using 
uh, inside the resource uh, we can do first we will copy no 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 need to here only here is cancer because uh, java resource we have application spring context dot xml simply copy the context dot xml and uh, paste it into the our resource <sighs> So if you see in our resource, we have a spring context dot XML. So <clears throat> what I'm doing here, I'm trying to delete all the informations. We don't need these, uh, these are the information, right? So, so simply, this is the configuration we require, right? This is the only we require. So if you're not using also EH cache AOP transaction, it's nothing, <clears throat> nothing will happen. So just leave it as, as it is. So what we need to do our basic example we need to use beam uh, id controller controller class what is the class com dot java technology dot controller dot home home page controller so this is our our class name home page controller and it's having a property name what is the property student service and we need to specify ref ref is nothing but where the student service is available right student service so this is the way we need to configure the Students, student service, and once we specify, we need a simply we can use class because already we are providing the reference, or we can use com dot java technology dot service dot student service. So we can use either ID also like student service, right? Simply you can specify B. So this is the way we can configure. <clears throat> now it's going to load. So as I said in our web.xml, we specified simply specify uh, spring hyphen context dot xml so like we can specify here contact config location right so save these also save Right now we completed so writing in a simple basic program. So this is the way we need to configure. And we need to, as I said here, so is going to use the resource name called internal resource view resolver. So this also we need to configure. So where we are going to configure this in our configuration file. So using I am specifying pin ID. So what is the pin ID? View resolver. View resolver and we need to specify the class name. We need to specify the class. What is the class here? org dot spring org dot spring framework dot web dot sarlet dot so what is the class name 
view we have one more package for solid after solid so it's having view org spring framework dot web dot solid dot view dot internal resource internal view or internal resource view resolvers view view resolver so this is the name of the class so this is the name of the class and it's having some properties called it's having some property call what is the property name name property call prefix prefix so we need to specify the values like <clears throat> we need to specify the value or we can use property of value for, you can use the value tag so here we can specify the value <coughs> right value is nothing but where exactly our jsp files are available where exactly our jsp files are available here and we need to specify uh, web inf inside the we have one folder name called view right so inside the view folder we are having the so the jsv files now we need to use one more property called suffix so this is the other suffix other property called suffix we need to use the value called dot jsp dot jsp like we can specify our value so this is the information we need to specify so here what's going to happen now so we are like just specify the home name home is nothing but view name like it is the one jsp file name we are specifying so from the the controller once the control is written this information once the controller is written this information so where exactly is going to is going to handle by the again the dispatchers are late so, so the dispatchers are less identify the the view name view name is nothing but what is the view name here so here we are having the home view name called home right so based upon the view name is going to call this internal resource view resolver so what is the re view resolvers we configure in our configuration so those is going to call so now <clears throat> here what we did here so we configure our class name call internal resource view resolvers so from the view resolver so is going to check the home jsp file available inside the this folder is going to check the home page the home dot jsp file is available inside the this <clears throat> path so now we need to check whether it is available or not so because so inside the web index, we don't have a view page first we need to create our view pages uh, like view folder we need to create uh, name called view i view just simply finish view folder is created inside the view we need to create one jsp file we need to create one jsp file call simply home.jsp so so is going to specify some the default content so this is the instead the so now this home dot home page is identified right so dispatcher service is identify the home page now now the prop the prefix is hand and the is successfully loaded because the home what file is available right so now the what is going to do the suffix is going to append with the dot jsp is going to open with the dot jsp now what's going to happen here home dot jsp is going to append is going to append so once the home dot jsp is available so the home dot jsp is going to turn to the ui page <clears throat> whatever the information so we are trying to write on the home dot jsp so those informations so <clears throat> we will see on the 
ui page <clears throat> so this is the way so the spring mvc is going to work so if you want to run so this example if you want to run this example we need to show <clears throat> so we need to show some of the information <clears throat> So how we can use, uh, so inside the home.jsp, we have one tag called, we need to use some tag lib, we need to use some tag lib so that, so the spring related information we are going to use. So what type, what kind of tag we can, we are going to use here. So simply I'm using the tag name called, uh, percentile into use at the rate tag lib prefix tag lib i'm trying to use the prefix is equals to c so we we can use any cases use the c i will uh, explain after writing this http colon slash java dot sun dot sun dot com slash jstl slash core so this kind of tag we need to use we need to use so see as of now i did not save if you are trying to use the prefix c prefix c is going to work or not So here we are unable to see the C, right? No, nothing is not coming here. So just simply save, save. Oh, it's getting an error call. Cannot find the tag lib description or for, oh, okay. Uh, we are getting an error. We need to fix this. Cannot find the tag library. I think the library is changed. I think we need to use the, latest version of tag lib uh, see uh, we will see so what kind of error we are going to get in because okay <clears throat> we don't have a the server related information i guess so let's see uh, try with the below maven dependencies we need to use so some jstl tag lib <clears throat> library so as of now we don't have a tag lib libraries right we need to use the standard tag lib so copy and use inside the our maven simply save and see whether those are downloading or not so those are downloading right the three are downloading Yes, successfully downloaded. Uh, you can use otherwise we can see the so standard JSTL Tomcat Jasper. So now go to home.jsp and the <clears throat> tag lib is completed. So we the error is gone. Now just simply use C colon C. So these are we are able to see previously. So we did not see these are the information so these are the specific to the spring we can use uh, catch choose for each like for each is nothing but if you want to iterate some of the values on the ui page so we can use i can specify the condition and we can print on the some output so param import and each thing we can use set of uh, url when right so these are we are going to use in our uh, so what is the name called student object right we need to use c dot simply for each uh, uh, c dot inside the for each what i'm doing item items i'm specifying so what is the item here we need to use dollar and do 
like we need to specify so what what we, we are returning here key this is the key we are trying to return so this key we need to use here this key we need to use so once and we need to specify this key as an a variable as in a variable what is the variable so you can use student you can use as an a student so you can uh, use this student you can print an objects you can print an object so now how we can use so simply i'm using this li to get some successful <coughs> c dot c colon out Oh. Uh, where is out so this is an out value what is the value we need to specify uh, uh, again we need to use a dollar here we need to use student student dot what is the id uh, id is nothing but id so like we can specify so because we are not using the students so these student comes as an a variable each time the student is going to work so like this is the way we can use so this is the, uh, we can print an object on the console item does not support the runtime expressions okay so so we can change right uh, this is the way we need to use so tomorrow so we are going to install some server to run our application on the if you want to run any application we need to use server so how we can configure the server how we can run the server or how we can run our application using the some of the servers so tomorrow you will see <clears throat> so please practice so that is it is easy to get observed so we will see on tomorrow's class <clears throat>